Hello, it's me, your math 7 teacher, Manilin Sarsalero. It's the first week of our quarter 3 modular learning. So for this quarter, we will be focusing on geometry. When we say geometry, it is the branch of mathematics concerned with the properties and relations of points, lines, surfaces, solid, solids, and higher dimensional analogs. For this week, we will focus on the first two most essential competencies, which are they represent point, line, and plane using concrete and Victorian models and illustrate subsets of a line. So our reference is the Division of Cebu Province Self-Learning Home Task, written by Daryl A. Nasnor from Camotes National High School. Our objectives for this week are first describe a point, line, plane, ray, line segment, and other geometric terms, and illustrate a point, line, plane, ray, line segment, and other terms. Let's start with the definition of a point. So, in figure, we write point A, symbol for point, is this one. And then capital letter A. The annotation, we write point A. Okay. A point suggests an exact location in space. It has no dimension. We use capital letter to name a point. Next, we have line. So, our figure looks like this. And in notation, we write line M or line RV. So, look, take note of the symbol for the line. Okay, so when we say line, it is a set of points arranged in a row, extended endlessly in both directions. So, this one, as you can see, arrowheads in both directions. Next, one dimensional figure and two points determine a line. That is, two distinct points are contained by exactly one line. Okay, this one. Example, point R and point V. So these two points, when you connect, they can determine a line. We use lowercase letter or any two points on the line to name the line. Okay, so this one, lowercase letter M, we can name line M, or the two points R and V, we can name this line, line RV, and take note of the symbol for line. Next, we have plane. So here we have a figure of a plane. And in notation, we write the plane using the points on the plane or the symbol. This symbol and the points also, which are P, Q, and R. Okay. Set of points arranged in an endless flat surface. So that is a plane. The following determine a plane. So first, three non-collinear points. When we say non-collinear, so these are points not on the same line. Next, two intersecting lines, two parallel lines. So we will describe later what are these two term lines, intersecting and parallel. A line and a point not on the plane. So when we have a line and a point not on the plane, so we connect those line and point, we can make a plane. And we use lowercase letter or three points on the plane to name the plane. So as I've said earlier, we use the points on the plane, which are P, Q, and R. So that is the name of our plane. Plane, P, Q, R. Let's have examples. Okay, tip of a needle. This one. What do you think is this? Is it a line, a point, or a plane? It's a... Point. Next, corner of a table. So this part, it's a point. 
Blackboard. Okay, it's a plane. Surface of a table. Let me say surface. This part. That is also a plane. Next. Flagpole. So this pole. This is a line. Last one. Edge of a table. So when we say edge, we refer to this part right here. Okay, that is also a line. Next. More examples. So let's refer to the figure here to identify what is being asked. Okay, number one. Name the points on the interior region of the triangle. So this is our triangle. Points interior region. Okay, interior inside. So this one. We have point F. Next. Give other names for line P. Where is line P? This one. Okay. As I mentioned earlier, we can name a line using the two points on the line. So we have two points, H and D. So we can name our line P as line HD and take note of the symbol of the line. Next, name the plane that can be formed by the three points in the interior of the circle. So we have here our circle, interior meaning inside. So the three points, we have B, E, and G. So we can make a plane, which is plane B, E, G. Okay, let's define other basic geometric terms and uh, on points la, and lines. Okay, we have collinear points, coplanar, coplanar points, coplanar lines, intersecting, parallel, concurrent, and skew lines. So let's start with collinear points. So these are points on the same line. So example. Okay, coplanar points. So points on the same plane. This one, point. It's a point. They are on the same plane. This blue plane here. Next, when we say coplanar lines, so they are lines on the same plane. So, kane, we make a line using the two points and another line, and in one plane, which is this color blue. Right. Next. So, let's use this figure here on the right to define intersecting, concurrent, parallel, and skew lines. So let's start with intersecting lines. Two lines are intersecting if they have a common point. For example, line AD and line AB. AD and AB. So they have a common point, which is point A. Another example, line CG and line GF. Common point is point G. So we have here another lines so take a look at the figure and find more intersecting lines okay so let's have next parallel lines so these are coplanar lines that do not meet so we will say coplanar lines that are on the same plane okay so in this figure we have six planes one of six right let's check we have a top plane and then the front plane the right side plane the bottom plane the left side plane and the back or the rear plane okay so let's have example of parallel lines dh and ae okay so they are on the right side of our plane line dh line ae so they do not meet but they are on the same plane next example line hg and line ef still these two lines do not meet but they are on the same plane which is the bottom plane right. take a look at the figure and find more examples okay. next concurrent lines Three or more lines intersecting at one point. So, three or more. Okay, example, line EA, EH, and EF. Ok, 
Okay, we have three lines. They intersect at point E. Another example, line CD, CG, and CB. So intersect at point C. Find more examples here. You can see this one, this one, this one. Okay, skew lines. So lines that do not lie on the same plane. So they are neither intersecting nor parallel. So meaning they are not on the same plane. And they never intersect nor parallel. Okay, example. BC and line HG. Line BC, so you can see, na siya dering aside, ang line HG na adering. So, bakit sila? Di ikit sila parallel, at the same time, bakit sila nag-aabot. Another example, line HE and line BF. Okay. Five more examples. Next, subsets of a line. So, we have two, line segment and ray. When we say line segment, so, it has two end points. So, the points A, B, C, and D are on line segment A, D. In notation, we write as line segment A, D. Take note of the symbol for line segment. And when we say ray, so it has one end point and extended endlessly in one direction. So this is ray AB or ray AC. So we write as AB then the symbol for ray. So we always start on the end point. Okay, array is the end point. And it is not correct to name it as ray BA or CA. Since we start with it as the end point, so origin there is A. We cannot say CA or BA. So again, start with the end point and to the direction of the arrow. Okay. A, B, or ray, A, C. Another example. What do you think is the name of this ray? Is it X, Z or Z, X? X, Y or Y, X? Right. So this is ray, Z, X, or Z, Y. Start with the end point and to the direction of the arrowhead. Okay. Next, let's practice. Which of the following represent a line? Okay, five seconds. Four, three, two, and one. Okay, answer is flagpole. It presents a line. Next, it refers to a set of points in endless flat surface. Point, line, plane, or line segment. Alright, the answer is plane. It is a subset of a line that has two end points. Ray, line, line segment, or plane. Mm -hmm. And the answer is line segment. Okay, number four. The following represents a point. Exact. Cardboard, grain of sand, stars in the sky, head of a nail. Okay. Answer is cardboard. So, okay, the cardboard represents a plane. Next, which of these is a one dimensional figure? Point, line, plane, or none of these? Four, three, two, one, and the answer is a line. Next, what do you call the coplanar lines that do not meet? So they are on the same plane but do not meet. 
intersecting parallel concurrent or skew lines. Answer is parallel lines. Next question. Number seven, it is a subset of a line that has only one endpoint and is extended endlessly in one direction. Gray, line segment, point, or plane. And the answer is it's a ray, one end point and extended in one direction. Next, which of the following is a correct symbol used to indicate a line segment? Right, take a look at the symbols. And the answer is letter C. This one represents is a symbol for a line. This is symbol for a ray. Number nine, these are points that lie on the same plane. Collinear points, coplanar points, coplanar lines, or is it a point of intersection? Answer, it's coplanar point. Next, which of the following represent a plane? Pencil, edge of a sidewalk, corner of a sheet of paper, stage platform. And our answer is okay, letter D, stage platform. So these three, pencil, edge of a sidewalk, and corner of a sheet of paper, they all represent a line. Okay, that's all for our week one lesson. I hope you learned something and thank you for watching. Bye-bye.